This is Knocking on Heaven's Door by Bob Dylan. It's a pretty easy song. I've put this video together for uh, those of you out there. Um, let's start with the chords. Um, our first chord to the song is a G chord. And the way we produce this one is we use our first finger on the second fret of the fifth string, our second finger on the third fret of the sixth string, and our third finger on the third fret of the first string. And it should sound like this. Next we move to the D. D is produced by using our first finger on the second fret of the third string, our second finger on the second fret of the first string, and our third finger on the third fret of the second string. And this one we just strum four strings from the fourth string down. It should sound like that. After that we have A minor. We produce that one by using our first finger on the first fret of the second string our second finger on the second fret of the fourth string and our third finger on the second fret of the third string. For this one we're going to strum five strings. Should sound like that. So that's our first uh, cycle through. We're going to go. And then you'll notice in there he's got a little before the next cycle begins. To produce that one we just have our A minor chord shape here and bring our pinky up here to the third fret on the uh, first string and produce that chord right there. That's an A minor 7 by the way, that's the name of that one. Um, then we're going to do G again to D again, then second time through C. And the way you produce C is first finger, first fret, second string, second finger, second fret, fourth string, and third finger third fret, fifth string, and we're going to strum just five strings for this one. Should sound like that. And then after that we're going to throw in our pinky for our transition chord. And the pinky here is on the third fret of the first string. And that's also a C chord. A lot of times I see it uh, called a C add five because G is the fifth of the uh, scale. Really it's a C um, with a different inversion to it different note on top. So our whole progression is going to go like this. G, D, A minor, A minor 7, G, D, C, C with the 5th uh, on top. And when you put in the strums it's going to sound like this. And that strum is a little different every time he goes around. There's no actually particular pattern to it. Um, he just kind of feels it as he goes through the song. But um, I'm going to put a good approximation and give you some ideas on how to strum it in the next segment of the video. Let's do that now. This is the strumming to knock on heaven's door, like I said earlier in the last segment of the video. Um, there's no particular strum pattern that happens throughout the whole song. So what I'm going to do here is present a couple different patterns to you for ideas that do occur in the song. And um, that way you can kind of mix and match them or listen very closely to the recording and try to mix them up with the whole recording and get it down that way. Um, let's start with our G chord. In the very beginning of the song he does a strum that sounds something like this. And what I did there, I did down, 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 up, down, up. On the D, he does it just down, up, down, up, down, down. Or you can even go. That was down, up, down, up, down, up, down. He does that quite a bit. Uh, a minor. And what I did there, I kind of moved it around a little bit. Down. Notice this is kind of a short note here. And sometimes he does it the way I did the first time, sometimes he does it the way I did the second time, a little more room on this chord here. 
see I left a little more room on this court, a little more time on it uh, the second time around. Um, and then we would start again with the G. And this time around I went down, up, down, up, down, down. Up. D is always down, up, down, up, down. And then we would go to C. And you see on the C I also held that chord for a while before adding my pinky on for the add five chord. So if I were to put the whole thing together with these strums, um, kind of like the beginning goes, we would have a G, D, G minor seven, G, D, C. All right, so this is a song where you can leave the strumming uh, purely up to your own interpretation as long as it sounds like the recording. And as I said earlier, he changes the strum up a lot, so there is no pattern if there's just ideas such as the ones I just gave you. Um, let's move along now and we'll play along with the entire song. <laughs> 